What's going on everyone? It's time to continue on with the Child's Play or Chucky franchise. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Seed of Chucky, the fifth Chucky movie. <laughs> so, yeah. This was uh, released by Univer or Rogue Pictures November 12, 2004. It was produced by David Kirshner and Carrie Singa. And it was written and directed by Don Mancini, who uh, wrote, uh, who also would go on to direct uh, Cult of Chucky and Curse of Chucky. Uh, he also wrote pretty much every Child's Play movie. He's the one who's behind it all. Uh, but he'd also directed a few other things like Cellar Dweller, Queer for Fear. He did a segment in that. Uh, he also did a film called The Dollhouse. Uh, it set a budget of $12 million and it was a moderate success, I guess, when it came out. But boy. So this one's not really a horror film. This is more like a joke. Um, how should I put this? It's a horror comedy is usually what people would classify this. But to me, it was more like, um, I want to say a family drama film, but with dolls. <laughs> like, yeah, with a little bit of humor mixed in and a little bit of dark horror-ish elements into it. Um, this is where the franchise went off the rails. Um, yeah, so Seed of Chucky basically picks up after Bride of Chucky. Where the kid is, that was born at the end of that movie... Um, is somewhat grown up and he can't tell if it's a boy or a girl or whatever. And uh, yeah, he's uh, pretending to be a, a marionette or whatever, one of those do talking ventriloquist dolls <laughs> in Britain. And then he wants to find more of his roots. And it turns out in America, they're filming a new, um, a new uh, uh, Ch Chucky movie. And so he sees the dolls and the made in Japan sign and thinks they're his parents. So he finds a way over. Uh, in the meantime, in the U.S., uh, they're filming the Chucky movie. And, uh, yeah. And uh, with uh, what Jennifer Tilly uh, star <laughs> playing herself. And uh, she uh, is playing Tiffany in that movie. But uh, the film company actually got actually ended up finding and using the actual Chucky and Tiffany dolls. So they're actually alive, <laughs> but unbeknownst to them. This one is really meta. This one is, uh, it sort of follows the same vein as New Nightmare, Scream, and all that mixed together. And they try to make their own sort of style with this one. And uh, it's neat because it started on a film production set of a Chucky movie. So you sort of get to see some behind the scenes sort of stuff on how some of the films were created. And um, yeah, but uh, once um, they realize, uh, once the puppets uh, turn on the creator of it and kill him off, uh, they slowly start following Tiff or uh, Jennifer Tilly around because um, she's going wants to star in a new movie, and they realize uh, to make amends with this, they have to like get her to kill them or something, something weird like that. And uh, yeah, so they go, and she wants to go on a new uh, production with uh, Red Men making something about the Virgin Mary, and uh, things go awry as that goes on and uh turns out they make a couple more kids instead uh this is a really off the rails movie the story is really weird too i didn't wasn't really into this movie i thought it was it's a amusing cheesy uh scenario and they definitely leaned way more into the comedy there's a lot of early late 90s early 2000s jokes that probably won't Kids nowadays, people nowadays might not even know. And, uh, yeah, so it, it's definitely a product of the time. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's uh, a little too cheesy, I think, for modern audiences anyways. And uh, it's very off the wall and kooky and weird and disturbing in some odd sense. <laughs> and uh, overall, like, they had some cool kills in this one. Only a few, though. And I think the more shocking aspect is trying to make a kit more kids. They made a doll, baby doll. Now uh, they're making real kids with a uh, doll, like, doing his thing and then getting the actress <laughs> pregnant and stuff. It was really absurd. And it was just odd. And um, most of the jokes don't hit. The acting was okay. It was shot well, and um, uh, overall, I just wasn't really into it. So um, 
I thought it was okay, but still definitely wasn't the greatest. And Bright of Chucky is way better than this one. So, um, yeah, I'm going to give Seed of Chucky a two and a half out of five. Um, it's definitely one of the lowest points of uh, the franchise, I think. Picks up a bit in the next one, and then it goes back down again for it. But uh, this is where the roller coaster ride starts. So we had a good climb, and then we got Bride Chucky across the hill, and then we dropped <laughs> down the main lift. Well, the main hill. And got the Curse of Chucky. Now we're going up the next camel hump to the next film. So, yeah. Or at least I'm hoping that's what happens. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to go see the Chucky a two and a half out of five. Um, I'll either link the whole film down below, but if I can't find that or you can watch it for free, I'll link the trailer down below so you can check it out and see what I'm talking about or so you can relive it if you want. Um, also, the link down below is my Instagram as well. Post clips of films and review in the future on my story. You have the film title, hashtag, and sub on film and the hashtag so you're aware of it. Um, so you follow me on there. Also, make sure you check out my letterbox at Derek P. Reviews. That's where I post my first star rating right after watching the films. So follow me on those platforms. Stay in the loop of this channel. I also have Twitter now if you want to follow me on that. But um, I don't really use it yet. So, But I, uh, if there's any delays in like uploading or anything like that, I'll post it on there. <laughs> um, but yeah, like this video. Share some more people aware of it. Comment your opinions of the film down below if you have any. And also if you, let me know your favorite Child's Play or Chucky movie if you want. Also, uh, if you have any films or film franchise in, in any genre that, in, that you want to hear my opinions on in the future, comment those down below. I'll try to get to as soon as I can, and if I can find them. And, uh, yeah, subscribe. Hopefully, find something weird, obscure, and odd that you probably never thought of checking out together. And also, so you hear my opinions on popular films that have come out somewhat like this, classic films, reviews on other things as well. And don't forget to ring that bell because we're going to continue on with the sixth film in the franchise, and that's Curse of Chucky, where it goes back to spooky horror elements and stuff the way I like it. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, make sure you tune in for that. Watch out for all those toys trying to give ba birth to babies and try to ruin everyone's lives. And I guess I'll see you all in the next review. So until then, cheers. <laughs>